also if you uh, added some more content to your LinkedIn profile that's good because the more complete it is the better the better it is for you because again this is going to be to put your best foot forward when someone searches your name you want something more like this to appear LinkedIn instead of those party shots that maybe are not going to put you in the best light so one of the things that we also want to do is claim our name at the moment um, I have my name on my profile here but that's not my address if you if you go back to your profile wherever you're at if you just go back to profile you scroll down below your photo there's a spot that says here's your here's your LinkedIn address mine currently is linkedin.com slash pub slash Victor dash compost dash two slash b7 slash aba slash 370 that's not exactly memorable I want LinkedIn slash Victor Campos. You probably want a short name there. And the way to edit it is kind of hidden. Uh, you wouldn't really know it unless someone told you or you searched for it. But if you hover over that address, you get a little gear that appears, or a little sun or whatever, a little gear. You hover over that and you click on that gear. That's update your public profile settings. That will show you a few important things. So back on your profile here, just hover over your your address and click on the gear. This is your public profile. And then on the right side, on the top right side, you should see right here, your public profile URL. Enhance your personal brand by creating a custom URL for your LinkedIn public profile. So again, hopefully here you are able to get the profile name that is nice and memorable and short for yourself. If not, you might have to settle by putting in your middle name or your middle initial or something like that. So let's see what happens there. Click create your custom URL. This is okay. Your new address is going to be something like linkedin.com slash in slash whatever you want. So I'm going to say, okay, I want Victor Campos. Save. Whoops, that name's already taken. So either Victor Campos 2 or Victor C2. Yes. Yours is available. Cool. You have to have it without a space in the address here. In the name of your profile up here, spaces and punctuation are fine. But in the name of your profile, it has to have, it, it cannot have spaces. You can have the dash, I think. Let's see. Here. The reason that I asked, um, I'm not too familiar with programming for the web, for um, like making websites and stuff. But I think the search engine, when it looks at something that has um, a dash, it ignores the dash. So if people it goes into the Google and writes the name, it'll pick up the LinkedIn because it, it's, it's, it's written like separate. It's easier to find it with the dash in the middle with the name joined. That's true for uh, to a point because if I've got a blog that says top 10 WordPress plugins, the link to that post is going to be really more like top dash 10 dash WordPress dash plugins, right? It's going to have the dashes there instead of one long word. That's true. Things are a little bit different on social networks though. So on Twitter, for example, we can have one name all, you know, one long name. We can have underscores and so forth. I tried to put a dash here, and then LinkedIn complained the URL cannot have spaces, symbols, or special characters. So it's a moot point. It doesn't matter. So in, in this case, no dash. So hopefully everyone found this and you want to claim your name. Did anyone else claim your name, or did you have to settle? Anyone? Got your name? First try? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Anyone have to get second try? Okay. That might work. Change it up a little bit, but... Uh, so in order for you to... Even though maybe someone else got your name, the totality of what you put online might get you higher on search results. Because as I showed a moment ago, if I do a Google search for Victor Campos, I appear second 
after the actor that's been around longer, after the actor that's been in the movie Scarface. I was never in the movie Scarface. So all the other stuff that I've done then put me up higher than the other Victor Campos's, like my Rate to My Professor profile, uh, my other profile here. There's this guy here that does videos, but that's not me. I do better videos. There's my Google Plus profile, and then Victor Campos in, with, uh, in Spanish on Facebook, and so forth. So there's more than one Victor Campos, but I'm putting more stuff out in the world than them, so I show up more than them. So if you didn't quite claim your, your main name here on LinkedIn, well, no problem. Keep blogging, keep using Twitter, keep using LinkedIn and so forth, and then you might get higher than your than your than the other people that have your name. All right. So, let's say I claimed my name. Do you want to do that before someone else takes it? Do you want your name? Then you can decide here right below that spot about create your custom URL. You can decide here how to display your profile. Because just like any network, you can have it public or you can have it private. But you can't have it fully private, uh, totally invisible. That doesn't even work. Even on Facebook, you, you really, you're, if someone is searching you, trying to stalk you, they're not going to see anything about you on Facebook if you turn on that option. Uh, LinkedIn is not that uh, private, meaning that if someone does search your name, um, they could see something about you if you're connected to someone else. But you have some protection right here. It says, make my public profile visible to no one. Okay, so that is saying only your connections. Question? How, how did you get that? It was back on the screen where we were changing your address. So remember, put your mouse on that little gear. Let me go back over here. You put your mouse on the gear to edit your name, and it takes you back to that screen. Awesome. So if I select make my pro public profile visible to no one, that means you're, you're going to be to a, a point you're going to be invisible to people that are searching on LinkedIn. Uh, you're only going to be visible to the people that you've connected with. That's why I wouldn't accept connections by everyone. So only the people that I have a connection to will see my public profile. Will see my profile. There will be no public version of myself on LinkedIn. That's one option. The other option is make my public profile visible to everyone, and then I can fine tune it. I say I don't want to show people's people my current position. I don't want to show people my education. I just want to show them what languages I've, I've learned and a headline. We haven't looked at what headlines are yet. Notice you cannot turn off basics. Basics is what you write at the top here, like your name, what industry you've chosen, your location. So you can't turn that off. Since you can't turn that off, perhaps set that you know, judiciously, however you're trying to appear online. So if someone wants to see you there, he, he or she has to ask you first. Yes, exactly. And that's much better, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's going to depend. Well, much better. It depends on you. Yeah. Mine is on the one about totally public. Everyone can see everything. I'm fine with that. Okay. But if you want to use this for getting a new job or leaving an old job or whatever, you might not want to show everything. So you can say, make it private until someone connects with me, or turn off some of those options. So this screen here is a preview of what my public profile is. Someone that runs into my profile from searching will see this. I haven't put in a picture yet, but it would show a picture. And here's what I wrote here, and there's my experience, and so forth. If I don't want to show people my education, just turn it off. Or I could show education and turn off details. Is this safe to... Well, how do I tell you this? Is it safe in order to put all your information there? On well, phone? unfortunately, the speed of technology is so fast that if you're just right now thinking about should I put my stuff public out on the internet or not, it's probably too late.
you've probably already put some stuff online from years ago that might still be there. So this is something that's changing in society and, and like it really is like a big issue that how much do I want to be public online? In the old days, I take my, my phone number away from the phone book and I'm pretty anonymous. Now the internet is the phone book and there's no way to really take stuff off of it anymore. Um, so you have to understand that whatever you put online could be found by anyone, not that people are always looking for you or stalking or whatever, but whatever you put online could be found by people. And it's very, very, very difficult to take it offline because someone could easily make a copy of it. Even though you deleted the original, you can't delete that person's copy. And the whole law and legality and all of that is still being written and figured out. So, you know, unfortunately, it's not a very good answer to give you, but I have to tell you, assume that anything you put online, anyone can see and copy and, and you know, use against you in worst case scenario. So if you're okay with that, then welcome to online. But if you're not, minimize what you're putting online just to the, the minimum and make it as much private as possible. Facebook has a lot of features to make things private. Um, LinkedIn has a lot of features to make things private, but it's not flawless. There's always the example of suddenly Facebook changes something and everyone freaks out. Uh, it happens to everyone. It happened to Mark Zuckerberg's own sister, the creator of Facebook. His sister, a, a year or two ago, had put some stuff private, a fo family photo, and it got out and the whole world saw it. And she complained, hey, why did you share my picture? Because one of the settings on Facebook wasn't set right and someone shared it and now the whole world saw it. So even the creator of Facebook, the biggest social network in history, can't manage Facebook. So... That's going to be some of the cases. That's going to be what? Whoever develops the application. People are trying to make it as uh, people are trying to make privacy a big thing. So yeah, if someone can make things really private and really easy to use, people are going to make money off of that probably. But maybe someone is figuring out how to do that and give it a, give it away for free, like the inventor of the web, Linus Tor um, Tim Berners Lee. He invented the HTML language and he gave it away. He didn't copyright it or patent it and make people pay. He gave the code away, and now we have this new world of the web and Facebook and YouTube and Skype and all of that and he gave it away. So there's positive and negative, but basically think about anything you put online can be found by anyone. So if we finish editing that screen, we have claimed our name, maybe added a little bit of privacy to our profile, and that is our Th those are some of our settings there. So we're going to then change gears a little bit to connections in just a moment, but any other questions so far? We've been spending a little time to set up our profile, to, to, put our, to put our best foot forward, and now the other aspect of LinkedIn is, well, the connections. Right now I have zero connections. So at the top, you've got search for people, jobs, companies, and more. That little drop down here. If I type in a keyword, it'll search everything. But if I'm looking for a job, just for fun, I'm going to select on the top here. Press the little menu here and select job. And I'll search for jobs. I don't know, I'll just type Twitter. Let's see what happens. I get some quick results here, but I'll just click the search button. I'll ignore that for the moment. I'll type Twitter and then click the search uh, button. So apparently Walmart in San Diego ha popped up here about web development engineer. Let me view that. Apply on the company website posted 17 hours ago. Job description. Reporting, reporting to the senior engineering manager of the business tools and services, you will be responsible for driving the development efforts of one of the core user interface tools 
is part of the new business site that integrates with the front-end architecture powering the new site redesign for Walmart. So Walmart's going to redesign their website apparently, and this is a job related to that. More description over here. Minimum qualifications, bachelor's degree in computer science or related field, and six years of experience building scalable e-commerce applications or mobile software. So other things. Experience in HTML and CSS. Expert understanding of JavaScript and Ajax. Experience in testing, blah, blah, blah. Extensive experience with common JavaScript and CSS libraries, particularly jQuery, Backbone, Handlebars, and Twitter Bootstrap, etc. So how many of you knew that LinkedIn was a place to try to find a job? Okay. Put your hands down. <laughs> You're supposed to say, no, I never knew that. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, so now you know. <laughs> so here we go. You can use uh, LinkedIn for finding a job. This is why you want to have your profile filled in as much as possible. This is all free. So what's this one? Web graphic designer and social media specialist for 5W relations. But that's in New York. Well, maybe they can. I can telecommute. Let's see what they're about. 16 applicants so far. Um, perks include one half Friday every Friday, Memorial, Memorial Day through Labor Day, spot bonuses, agency partner discounts and rewards. Okay, skills. Four years of professional experience in graphic design, social media, web design, advertising, marketing, public relations, or related fields, and so forth. So anyway, that's the search on top. I searched for a particular job. I can search for companies or, you know, people. I'll search for people. <clears throat> Various names appear. And uh, LinkedIn does tell you uh, who has viewed your profile. So it's a little harder to stock here. Uh, if, you're, if you're looking for people and you visit their profile, when they log in, there'll be a spot in the corner that says, these people view your, viewed your profile recently. So if you have the LinkedIn Pro, I believe there's extra features regarding that. I believe you can turn invisible on that. So you can see people's profiles. But that's the twenty four ninety five account. So you want to use search to try to connect with people. And the point of those connections is getting in touch with people that might benefit you. That they can also give you recommendations. You can use LinkedIn you can request your contacts to, once you've added, for example, job experience, you can, when you've got a connection, you can select them and ask them to endorse you or give you a recommendation on LinkedIn. They're going to write a little something for you. So for example, on my profile, like over here, uh, Silvio, over here wrote that uh, wrote some stuff about me teaching at um, for San Diego's community for San Diego City College so again you can write as much great stuff as you want on yourself but if you also get endorsement and then from professionals they will uh, that'll look better for you you know this is part of your this is your this is the modern resume. So this is how you get those. In the old days, it would be, uh, what's it called, uh, references. You know, references in a resume. Here's basically references that the people are writing something. You know, someone on an old, the old days, that references would just be their name and their phone number, and then the person would have to call them and get information. Here, the person writes a paragraph or whatever on a particular skill that you have, and hopefully that helps you get the job. That'll be up to you there to look in your to search and find related uh, find people that you could connect with or jobs or whatever. 
Any questions on that? I think the last thing we'll look at is over on the home screen. So wherever you're at, you can go home here. And that sort of brings up the aspect of LinkedIn, that is like the other social networks, like Facebook and so forth, that when you've got connections, their updates will appear there. Like it'll say, John had a one-year work anniversary, or Janet just got hired to whatever. And the point of that, one one point of that would be, you it, like like it says, Janet just got hired at whatever. You could use that knowledge for yourself to perhaps try to see if there are any more positions in that company. If Janet got hired, maybe there's another position that might be able to be filled that I could apply for. So you're going to get updates on uh, you know, a variety of business items. You can post an update there and then your followers, your connections will see it. So I've got share an update or share a or upload a photo. I'll select share an update. And I'll say going to fill in my projects soon. Working with jQuery. And I can set that there. Make that public. Make that only with my connections and make it public, and I could also share it on Twitter. So if I select that, I connect with Twitter, and whatever I post here will then automatically go to Twitter. So now right here, all zero of my connections would see that update. Once I've got more connections, they will see that. And there's the ability to comment on that, to share it, to like it, like, like a social network, of course. But... This is useful to for keeping up with your professional connections. I guess with time the overlap, no? like you meet them there, and then you, you do Twitter and maybe even Facebook over time. They could. They could. Um, and that's not bad. You know, if the same content is on each network, it's not bad. I would recommend more, and it takes more effort to post different things on each network because each one has a different purpose. Twitter, you've only got the 140 characters to get your point across. You could have a link there, a picture, or whatever, but it's short. Facebook, you can, you can write a whole essay. That's probably you've got that set up for your friends and family. And LinkedIn is for professional connections. So here I could write a whole long article or blog post um, and it'll fit well here because this is where people would really care about it. So I think those are the big ideas about uh, LinkedIn, to create the profile, to fill it in as much as you can, get some connections, and then use, use it for your benefit. Any other questions in general about LinkedIn? No. Can I log in? Like write up like a little article, or, uh, and I, I, you mentioned the updates. Would that serve that function? It would, but I believe there's a spot somewhere else to really like write a long blog post. This is a new feature that they've added somewhere. I have to look for it, but the update might be the same thing but I, I know I saw this recently and this is one of my to-do list items to get a little bit more knowledge about that because it's new you can use 
you can use LinkedIn as, as for writing longer stuff like a blog. But you've got your website, right? You've got your WordPress website. You could write your blogs there, put a little preview of it here, and then have people read the little preview, click the link to go back to your site. Uh, yeah, exactly. All right, so the thing about LinkedIn that, we'll, that I'll wrap up with is there's no homework for this assignment, but there's extra credit. Okay. If you fill in your profile, all completely and professionally, including the photo and so forth, and you know, so that it's not just a, a brand new empty kind of profile, if you fill it in professionally and so forth, send me the link to your LinkedIn profile, to my address, and you can get up to 20% of an assignment, which is how many points? Two points. Two points. Sounds like a little, but it's 20% of an assignment because every assignment is worth 10 points, right? So, uh, yeah, fill it in completely professionally. Send me the link with your address, and um, you can get up to two points. Uh, so, that would be that you filled it, that you've actually you know, claimed your name, not the huge name that, that could be that could take off points and that if you don't have your picture there there that could take off points there's only two points in total so fill it in turn it in there's no deadline so if you do it today fine if you do it on the last day of class or the last week of class that's fine uh, so that's our that's our topic of the day using LinkedIn setting it up and then it's extra credit no homework we'll have some lab time if you need to finish your blogging assignment it's due tonight and that's it for the moment